in this lecture let us discuss about anaphora in natural language processing anaphora is a linguistic phenomenon where a word or phrase called as anaphor refers back to previously mentioned word or phrase that is called as antecedent so this word or phrase it refers to anaphor and the previous word or phrase refers to antecedent say for example we have a sentence like this alice picked up the book and she started reading it so here this word she refers to alice and it refers to book in nlp resolving these references is important for machine comprehension of text this process is known as anaphora resolution which is a subset of coreference resolution types of anaphora in nlp it is categorized into multiple types based on how the reference is established so first one is a pronominal anaphora which is a most common type where pronoun refers back to noun say the sentence is john loves programming he spends hours coding so what does he refers to it refers to john so you can see word refers back to another word so this word he refers back to another word john and the second one is definite noun phrase anaphora so it refers back to an entity previously mentioned and the sentence i saw a dog in the park the dog was playing with a ball so here the word or phrase the dog it refers to a dog then demonstrative anaphora it uses a demonstrative pronouns like this that these those in order to refer back to an entity so if the sentence is she bought an apple and a banana this was written so you need to find out or the machine should find out what is this in the sentence so whether it refers to apple or banana so here the term this refers to banana then comparative anaphora here the comparison is made between two entities mentioned earlier so sentences john has a better laptop than paul does so here does refers to has a laptop then cataphora which is a also called as forward anaphora when the reference comes before the entity it refers to is nothing but forward anaphora say say example before he arrived jack had already left so who is this so till now we saw the entity coming after whereas now here this entity is coming before itself in the sentence so you need to find out this based on the following sentence so this he refers to jack then coming to techniques uh, for anaphora resolution the first one is rule based approaches this mainly uses predefined syntactic and heuristic rules in order to resolve references and the best example is hobbs algorithm which was introduced in 1976 this uses a syntactic tree structure in order to traverse backwards so traverse backward in the tree and find the closest noun phrase that matches this pronoun so this is a pronoun here this rule based approach is used to traverse backwards and find the closest noun phrase that matches this pronoun main drawbacks of this method are these rules need to be manually crafted and also poor generalization to unseen cases second one is machine learning based approaches so they uses uh, supervised learning with labeled data set and extract features like distance between the pronoun and noun gender and number agreement syntactic structure etc and the best examples for this machine learning based approaches are decision trees support vector machines random forest etc
then we have deep learning based approaches which uses neural networks particularly transformer based models like bert and span bert and the context aware models can understand references based on deep contextual embeddings uh, advantage of using this le deep learning based approaches it handles long distance dependencies and even learns complex relationships beyond syntactic rules then hybrid rules combination of rule based and machine learning based methods done in order to or combined in order to get better accuracy example system using this hops algorithm for candidate selection as well as bird based scoring for final resolution and steps in anaphora resolution are so first one is pre processing the text so before resolving this uh, anaphora first the given text should be pre processed using the existing natural language techniques right task involved in pre processing first one is tokenization which mean dividing or uh, breaking down the sentence into multiple words or sub words then parts of speech tagging so identifying grammatical category of every word in a sentence named entity recognition identifying named entities like people organization location etc and dependency parsing dependency parsing is used to analyze the grammatical structure of a sentence by identifying relationships or dependencies between the words it represents a given sentence as a dependency tree where nodes represent words edges represent syntactic dependencies like subject word object verb relationships so take this input sentence Alice met John at the park. He was carrying a book. So first, we need to perform pre-processing on the sentence. After pre-processing, we got tokens, all individual words in sentence, respective POS tags, named entities, and dependency. Second step is to identify anaphoric expressions. The system detects pronouns, definite noun phrases, and demonstrative expressions that could refer to earlier words. So in this sentence, Alice met John at the park. He was carrying a book. Anaphoric expression is he. So here, anaphoric expression was identified. Then step three, you need to find out candidate antecedents, all possible noun phrases that appear before the anaphoric expression are considered as candidates. So here, first we need to find out all possible noun phrases. So for he in he was carrying a book in this part this he so what are the possible antecedents from the previous sentence it can be he can be alice john park right these are the possible antecedents so if you take alice alice is female so we can't match it with he so this is cross mark then john so john is male so you can select that and park park is a location so we can't match it with the term he so this is also not possible so what is the possible sentence or possible word here it is john since he is a male pronoun john is considered as the best candidate step 4 is applying resolution rules or models so rule based resolution first one which is uh, also called as hops algorithm which states that traverses back through the syntax tree and find closest noun phrase matching the pronoun so here the example is alice met john at the park he was carrying a book so he is a male singular noun so what could be the closest preceding male singular noun it is john so this john will be selected so first construct syntax tree for the sentence then you need to find out closest noun matching this pronoun so the closest noun matching this pronoun is john next machine learning based resolution model can learn patterns from label data set by using features like uh, gender and number agreement so he must match a singular male entity so gender is male then distance closest and antecedents are 
preferred then syntactic role subject tends to refer to previous subjects then example model so we have various machine learning models uh, like decision tree support vector machine etc here decision tree classifier was trained on pronoun antecedent pairs and the predictions are like this so here pronoun antecedent so between he and john probability is 95 percentage whereas between the words he and park probability is just 5 percent so which should be selected obviously john so assign the correct reference so once the best antecedent is selected so here the best antecedent is john pronoun should be linked to it so in this sentence he is a pronoun so it should be linked to best antecedent that is john challenges in anaphora resolution first one is ambiguity usually pronoun may refer to multiple possible antecedents say for example if you consider the sentence sara told anna that she won the prize here this she it may refer to either sara or anna so this is ambiguity then long distance dependencies an antecedent may appear several sentences earlier so in the sentence see john was excited about his new job after 3 months he finally received his first paycheck so what does he refers to so here he refers to john but it occurred several sentences earlier this john occurred several sentences earlier so this is nothing but long distance dependency so here he refers to john but the sentences are separated world knowledge requirement some references require real world knowledge so in this sentence this, the battery in my phone is dead i need to charge it understanding that this it refers to phone rather than battery requires common sense so that is nothing but real world knowledge then applications of anaphora resolution first one is chatbots and virtual assistants so this anaphora resolution enables assistants like siri alexa and google assistant in order to maintain contextual awareness say this is a sentence entered by the user tell me about elon musk then the reply received from bot is he is the ceo of tesla this is the correct anaphora resolution so what this he refers to he refers to elon musk then text summarization this anaphora resolution ensures summaries retain coherent references say original statement is john went to the park he played soccer then he met his friend so this is a summarized version of the original sentence john played soccer at the park and met his friend so here the summarizer should identify this he and this one it refers to john only then question answering systems it helps in understanding pronoun based queries say this is an example who is the ceo of spacex so who is nothing but pronoun so this is pronoun based query so answer uh, retrieved from the question answering system is he is elon musk 